Hi, I'm Steve. This is my model of the James Webb Space Telescope, hidden underneath uh, another model of the uh, Ariane 5 uh, nose cone. Um, it's modelled in SketchUp, just off of uh, a million and one uh, photographs on uh, uh, NASA's uh, Flickr website, uh, which I match in SketchUp, uh, build the models, export as STLs, and then print on the Ender 3. So here it is. Uh, let's have a look. I think in the ideal world, uh, the nose cone would split open uh, like, uh, like the real thing does. Um, I can always do that at a later date, but at the moment uh, it actually makes quite a useful little carry case. Uh, I'll do a base for it eventually. So this is very much a prototype uh, model. It's, there's a lot of things that can be done to improve it. Uh, but the, the gross details are there and it does unfold and it is to scale. Uh, it, uh, it matches up to the uh, photographs. Um, I should do this thing where I overlay the model with the photographs. Anyway, there we go. Let's have a look and watch it unfold. First things first, it should be the solar array, which is on the back here, but I haven't got one of those yet. So the second thing first uh, will be the front palette and rear palette. And then probably the most tricky part uh, for me was to get the deployable tower assembly to deploy uh, and I've done that by putting a little screw in the bottom here so bear with me I'll edit this but I don't remember it actually I should probably put a motor in it or something anyway it's got a little hidden mechanism mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's full height so deployable tower goes up a uh, meter and a half or whatever it is 1200 millimeters, I think it is on the real thing. Uh, next, the side boom arms. Again, this was a very difficult part of the modeling process just because they've got to extend so far and still remain quite stiff. Anyway, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, there is no screen in this version. Uh, well, in this iteration, uh, I can fit a screen, you'll see that later on, but this is just the naked uh, mechanism, just to show how it deploys. Uh, and that is now deployed. In fact, why don't we fully deploy it with the... Oh yeah! Almost forgot, I only just made this bit. The aft momentum flap. Quite important it has one of those, otherwise it's going to just get pushed out of line. Uh, so we have, we have, there's the full model. Uh, fully deployed without the most important part, obviously. But uh, by the magic of uh, television, I can just install that immediately. We're all friends here. We can pretend that that just magically happened when I unfolded all of the uh, deployable parts. Uh, and then we got onto my very favourite part, uh, which inspired me to make this model in the first place. I just love this mechanism. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love this mechanism. I'm going to do that several times probably in this video. Uh, and I'm going to do it in such a way that you can actually see it as well. Because that never happens, that never happens, it never undeploys. Uh, so it only it's it's there to deploy once and that's it. Oh. Anyway, there it is. I won't keep doing that. And then the mirrors come out and blah blah blah. So there it is, James Webb Space Telescope fully deployed. So the model also has all of the well the four main instrument packages. Uh, built into the uh, tower. Um, of course, I can't remember what they all are now. There's the near cam uh, and Miri on the other side. Um, near spec, uh, as actually, I'm quite happy with the near spec. Uh, and then the FGS uh, tucked in the bottom. I think that's where they go. It's very difficult to see from all the photographs. It's actually enclosed in a little frame, uh, just like the real thing in the iSIM, so that whole package, I could lift that out, uh, not going to, uh, but that whole package uh, goes in there. Uh, 
also at the front on this model we do have a realistic uh, uh, light collector um, which I'm not going to say it deploy, I almost said that, yeah this deploys let's hope it doesn't ever deploy uh, and, uh, and I think it's also got a little mirror in the back there, I don't know if you can see that it's in there somewhere because uh, it's quite a complicated light path uh, uh, clearly, it bounces off the primary onto the secondary mirror uh, and then in through the front of the light collector off of this mirror and then it gets redistributed uh, to all of the instruments which you can, you may or may not be able to see all inside the uh, uh, inside the heart of the uh, iSIM um, and then it gets redistributed amongst the packages. That's, that's probably the most uh, that's probably the best feature of the JWST, the fact that it redistributes the light, or it just dis dis distributes the light equally amongst all of the uh, instruments simultaneously. Oh, I'm going to have to cut all this audio out. Anyway, there it is. There's JWST. Let's put it on a... Oh, it's just like the real thing, look at that. 